All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. If you are just now clicking on this video and you didn't watch part one, go back and watch part one. A lot of good insight there. Or you're just skipping to the goodie, which I can't blame you. It's like trying to eat dessert before your dinner. You always want to reach in the cookie jar and get you a nice dessert. But you know you shouldn't. So you're cheating at what you're doing. All right. Need to draw some flakes over into here. Now, how successful we're gonna be, I don't know. So for extra precaution, I'm just doing an extra little bevel. Cause that never hurts, never hurts. Okay, that was unsuccessful. No, that's, this is, this is not good. I shouldn't have done that. That worked out okay, okay. Not terrible. I accidentally crushed the platform. I dove too far in and Almost paid the price. Before I hit into there, here, bigger bopper. It's always good to have a couple boppers on hand. Pete, was that you, boy? Was over here growling, growling. Or maybe that was a stomach. I know I fed him. Got a golden lab. Perfect. Roll right on in there. I gotta clean this up too, but yeah, we're getting there. This is the hit I wanted to make earlier. Get my smaller bopper here. Now will it go? I don't know. It's just a clean, yeah, okay. It's just a cleanup plate, really. I was wanting it to go kind of bad. Okay, this is all flat, pretty level. This, I mean, I'm gonna level it out just slightly more. And now we can see we're, we're pretty much level, so I need to hit into here. This side, I need to hit. Jeez, I need to go here first. We would have crust up here on the tip. Not much else on the point, but on the tip, it's just brutal. Not gonna abrade super, super, uh, super a lot on the tip. Is that a phrase? Super a lot. Always afraid to hit it on the tip. Tell you what, it's just mm. right, I'm up a size and go for it. Ooh, that didn't do good at all. But uh, I think, think we can probably work around it. If we're lucky. Yeah, I'm gonna get my indirect stick. Um, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Get my stick here. We're gonna have to try to shoot this up through there. From here. 
put a lot of shock since it's a long blade. I mean, it's, there's no good way to support it. So, just gotta do what you can. Yeah, it did pretty good. Might stick with indirect for a minute. Yeah, that's nice. Just want to undercut this seam. Or that, uh, well, I didn't want to do it. I want to undercut that little, uh, boo boo area. And I need to go place off this side first before I can come back. Not doing it. Nope, nope, not today. That dead gum heavy abrader has cost me, or heavy bopper has cost me many a points. Yeah, that felt good. Look at there. Nice and thin. Just how you want them. I'll come in and clean that out later on. Let me get to the rest of this kit here. I don't want to have to fool around with it at the tail end. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine, that's fine. We'll take an overshot. doing some damage here okay now that's that's now we're just getting unnecessarily thin so let me clean this up you see how thin we got the tip no no reason for me to do that I mean there is reason but not when the rest of the point is thicker than this I mean, overshotting is a good strategy, but oh, it has its time and place. Yeah, we're, we're getting it too thin, I think. I know I'm the thin master. I like to get it thin. But, uh, yeah, there's some sometimes where if it doesn't line up with the rest of the point, the rest of the points thick and you get the a super thin tip that, that's that's never good yeah, I don't know what I do without these boppers they're just so invaluable okay I didn't even set up that ride and it still ran really well. Okay, there is a hump on this side. All right, got a, I got a platform for it. We're good. Well, I just erased the platform. What am I gonna do? Okay, not bad. Pete, what's up, boo? Stay there. Okay, I need to clean this up a little bit. Let's see if this will drive all the way across. Yeah. Three quarters of the way, I'll take it. That's where this hump is, but we'll have to catch it from right here. It's our only option. valid option okay I think I think we can do it I think we can manage it here yeah 
yeah, we, we, we got most of it. I mean, point's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be, it'll be what it'll be. Yeah. Trying to think if, no. Nope, not gonna risk it, nope. Some things are not worth it. Mike can get it eventually. Yeah, I might have, yeah. Work on the base first. Okay, we've got a platform here. That should have abraded more. On those big hits, you really got to abrade, and I didn't, didn't abrade well on that at all. That, that's what I'm talking about right there. Humdinger. Yeah, we gotta draw some off this face too. Yeah. I'll worry about the base in a little bit. Get this tidied up first. I'm gonna braid it. I learned my lesson. I'm braiding the, the snot out of it. Yeah, that, that's that's why you do that, folks. Big hits. Now this is where the stone takes a bend, kind of. Should have braided that. It's my own fault. Should have braided. Should have done it. Should have done it. I don't know. I might be able to get a streamlined point out of this, folks. It's possible. Setting up uh, to drive off of this base here. Really, I could percussion this, but I'm not taking any risks whatsoever. No risk, none. None whatsoever. Yep, that cleared good. That's a big hit. Oh yeah. Monster hit. That was beautiful. Again, you kind of got to take pride in your work a little bit. If you don't take a little bit of pride in it, something happens. Won't be the best hobby for you. I mean, it'll be a hobby, but you gotta take pride in what you do. Just like with life, you know? Take a little pride. A little bit, not a boastful pride. All my Christians know what I'm talking about. But, uh...
this is this area I was mentioning a long while back that I wasn't sure about. So I'm going to take a look. Can be done. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to make a tang blade anyways. So why not go for it? Let's go for it. Go big or go home, right? Oh, oh no. Okay, we ran we ran it up in there. I can take another flake here in a little bit. All right, where's my little bobber? Never made a corner tang knife before, but this is gonna be a doozy. I've seen Jason Newman do quite a few. He makes some really nice ones. This will be my first one. of hopefully quite a few that I'll make. Now be careful, you don't wanna, you know, have it touching your stomach or anywhere else when you make big hits. This is just a feather flake here. It's okay, Pete. Sometimes my dog gets a little scared some of the flakes. You all right, buddy? Ain't nobody hurting you. You all right? That's what we got so far. I'd say pretty decent, if you ask me. Now I'm just looking for little opportunities To not do that. Huh? A little isolation. This part's a little low. It's okay, Pete. Stay bow. When I get to talking to him, he thinks he's going to go do something, but nope. A little bopper here. Again, these later stages, they're slow. I know it. It is what it is. For y'all watching, which I hope you can see what I'm doing. I know it's a little slow for you, but... Hey, right, listen, it's... Best to be slow and precise at this stage than the, than the one, one faulty strike. It's just going to mess you up completely, so... Best to be a little careful. All right. Oh. And if any of y'all want this finished piece, sometimes I do sell my work. For you'll be surprised, a lot cheaper than normal. And you know, blade like this, I mean, hundred bucks or something. But, uh, smaller pieces, I mean, in the $10, $20 range. Made a little boo-boo point. It's, uh, at some of the shows, I've got some of these broke preforms. I just um, broke from a larger piece, and I just kind of pushed them into a little point. Uh, I'm going to sell these little point preforms for, like, four or five bucks at the show. So 
silver spring. So if y'all want something like that. I had another one around here. I don't know where it's at. Anyways, if those interest you, definitely uh, definitely have some available. Let me see, what, which one was I hitting? This one? This one, yep. Damn. It's a big one, I got a braid. I just hope it doesn't hinge on me. Uh, I don't know what that noise was, but it was a, a noise of being unsure. By the way, I do have to look up. I'll have to look up here in a minute. Uh, the shape and like, you know, where you notch it. Because I, I can't remember this stuff. I mean, this is... I've never made this before. I have no idea. Okay, so when I'm hitting from the base indirect, I, I, I take a smaller bopper. And just hit on the edge. I don't hit super high. Not heavily abrading it. I'm just kind of brushing it. And any chance I can do to hit down or to the side rather than straight in. I'll take it, but that time I did have to hit straight in. You can see the small bopper does pretty well. It won't drive them as far, your flakes near as far, but it'll do. A good job for what you want it to do, I will say that. Perfect, yep. We're doing pretty good. I mean, that's just, it's coming out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. See that, yeah, that's my dog whimpering right there. If you hear that, that's... Oh, you know what, hush now. Yeah, what are we at, 17 minutes? So we've been working on this for about 50 minutes so far. 50 minutes, I'd say we're doing all right. I'm gonna try to undercut this mess. I'm tired of looking at it. I'm tired of it. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. And we did it. You see all that? That was on there. I didn't like it. Fooey with that mess. Let me see. Yeah, we yeah we got a platform. Yep. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you gotta be careful though. Yeah, I didn't want to drive too far. That was sketchy. That was a sketchy platform. I could take one more in here. I need to remove off this face though. Yeah, always follow your center line rules. So yeah, we're getting we're getting this one pretty much round down here. This one's still a little thick on the on the base. This side here. I'm gonna do the tip first. Okay, so we got some platforms to hit off of this side here. Stay, buddy. Get this out of the way. I need to concentrate. So I want to hit into here, but it's going to hinge. I could drive into there, which I think I'll do. Yeah, 
Gotta be a little careful though. A little careful. I don't think it'll go. It wasn't quite the right platform. I mean, I can just pile drive this platform, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I blew through most of it. That was really sketchy. I would not suggest doing that. Luckily, when you work a point, like I've been doing for about an hour, you you get a feel for it so you can kind of know what it can take. I'm gonna be honest, that was probably 30% it for it holds together and 70% it breaks, but I mean it it held. Same thing here. Just pile driving through. Not to mention there's a little hole there, but doggone did that work out well. That worked out perfect. That's beautiful. Yeah, that came out great. Now I just gotta match these flakes. Matching the flakes is where skill comes in. And knowing your tools, knowing what they can handle, knowing what angle you're hitting at. Cause you, I mean, there's so many so many places you'd, you'd like to hit, like right there. You have to use your, your knowledge and understanding. Again, this is gonna be a big hit and I don't know if it'll even do me any good. Did good, did good. Take a breath of fresh air. My goodness, that was brutal. We do have to catch it though. We do have to catch it. For it to look decent. I don't know if that's the right plat. I don't know if that'll cut it. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Let me, uh, I don't mind getting a little bit more curve in the blade. That's fine. I wanna set this up where it'll go. Yeah, we're too late in the stage to be messing up here. I'd rather get it right. That is so thin in here. Let me hit here first. Peach, you're gonna need to calm down, buddy. Okay, yeah, I don't know. This is this is one this is probably the sketchiest hit as of as of yet. We still did okay. Not perfect, but it's, it'll do. All right, okay. Let's work on this base. On the base a little bit. Again, I'm gonna have to look up a picture. Yeah, I gotta drive flakes off this side. Yeah, yep. Already kind of started it, <laughs> uh, a tang incision there. Might to make this into three parts. And the third part, I'm gonna just say fooey with this indirect stick. Let's uh, do something different. It's not, yeah, I don't know. That's, 
so tricky. It's a tricky area. Hey, hush. That was good. That was my first flake into it. Okay, not bad. I really don't want to come from the tip, so I'm gonna come from right here. Actually, I think they are rounded right here. Now that I think about it. This is still a dangerous hit. Oh yeah, that's that's what we're looking for. It hinged out, but we're gonna catch that hinge. Right? We're either gonna catch it or we're gonna break the piece, but I, I, I think we're gonna eventually catch it. Cause I'm not gonna live with that, that hinge in there. That can cut that, but that'll pop out, won't it? Surely that'll pop out. Let me get my small bopper here. This could be doomsday. I'm gonna hit slightly. Hit slightly. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. That should pop out, right? Here, yeah, let me uh, let me get my pressure plate. Will this do here? Yeah, that that popped right out. Let's see about this one though. Yeah, that popped out too. Can I run more, one more plate in there? All right, let's. Oh, faithful, man. I tell you, that it did the job. It did it. I could just tell immediately. That is exactly what we needed. Yep. Now we're just cleaning up flakes here. Doing some cleanup flakes, and we're going to be on to a last, final part three, man. No more worrying in part three. All smiles and gladness in part three. None of y'all have to worry. I don't have to worry anymore. <laughs> Got this joker thin enough. Plenty thin. Again, notice I'm using my small bopper. Do I want to? Yeah. We've had some good luck recently. Let me see if we can shoot a flake up into that. Yeah, I don't know. Or not. Okay. Okay. That's going to be the one booger that I'm going to not like in this point. It's going to have to be what it's going to be because the rest of it's pretty doggone thin. And I don't want to mess it up. All right, what are we at? 30 minutes? Eat. Go lay.
He knows better than to mess with me when I'm napping. There has indeed been a time where he messed me up pretty bad once. Maybe your kid has done the same thing or something similar. I mean, it happens. But you never want it to happen, never expect it to happen. All right, you know what? We're just gonna pressure flake the rest of this. I really wanna drive into there. Really wanna drive up in through here, but we're gonna call it there. We're gonna pressure flake the rest of this baby and it'll be what it'll be. I really wanna, nope. Jake, you're done. Do I want to? Kinda. All right, final one, final one. There we go, that, that's, that's it. All right, guys, pretty thin. Like I said, really only one booger area, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna flake that out in here. That's, that's not an issue. This uh, is real nice, but I need to uh, figure out this Tang knife design. I think they go here and here, and then this tapers up. We have the tip thin, tip's thin. But uh, anyways, we'll do a part three. Thank y'all for hanging on as long as you have. Appreciate you.